What is good YouTube, what's you here? So you just seen in that lengthy clip, it's about three minutes long, I will leave the link down below so you can watch the whole interview. So I just wanna give a quick shout out to Heavy Spoilers, friend of this YouTube channel for letting me know about this story. Pretty cool story. So Tyrese Gibson told Charlemagne Lagarde, I believe that's how you say his name, it will be in the description. So if this is true, then this is some crazy news. So. He, he was told by Tyree that the Spidey spin-off Morbius and apparently the actor has signed for multi-picture deal. Now, what is interesting about this Morbius movie is no one knows who Tyrese is playing. So the biography, the kind of description for the Morbius movie with Gerard Leto, they are currently going through principal photography, essentially reshoots. The, the bio for this movie is a biochemist Michael Morbius tries to cure himself of a rare blood disease, but inadvertently infects himself with a form of vampirism instead. So essentially, he becomes a vampire, which is interesting. But what is actually interesting is I've tried to look absolutely everywhere. If anyone knows down below who he's playing, it just says rumored everywhere. Matt Smith is also supposed to be in the movie. It's got a pretty decent casting for it. So what is interesting is he's essentially confirming that the Spider-Man Sony-verse is in the MCU, essentially. He also revealed that his contract includes future Marvel Cinematic appearances despite the two universes being considered separated for now. So it's a very interesting interview, guys. I suggest you do go down and watch it. It is pretty interesting. They do go on to talk about the Sinister Six scene and it's described the exact same way that I was told from my insider that watched the scene. So I know it's real. For some reason, they pulled it. The most obvious reason why they pulled this scene is because they didn't have the deal. Now, I believe this new Spider-Man deal for one movie and one added movie outside of obviously the Spider-Man 3. I believe that's just a short-term deal because they had to get it that nailed in time to do Spider-Man 3 because 2021 isn't that far away. So I do believe that there really is two universes being merged in together with one. But then obviously you have to kind of look at the integrity of Tyrese. Tyrese is a really good actor. I do rate him quite highly. I think he's hilarious in the Fast and Furious movies. But he has said in the past that he was in the running for Jon Stewart Green Lantern and nothing has come from that. So this is coming from Comic Kings. Very cool podcast. Check them out. So guys, let me know. Is this confirming that Morbius is actually part of the MCU? Because it is interesting. So if you don't know, there's lots of crazy comic book stories that evolve around in obvious things. So we have Blade in the MCU. Blade meeting Morbius would be absolutely insane. Now, I'm not gonna say this does confirm it, but as I keep saying, guys, if you do look into the terms and conditions of the new contract, Disney are co-financing 25% of all the spin-off movie, not just the Spider-Man 3 movie. Now, people have been calling me out in the comment section when I talk about it. I don't even understand why. The information is there. It says that Sony is allowing Disney to co-finance all their movie in the Spider-Man spin-off. So every movie that comes out after Morbius will be co-financed by Disney. So I do believe that eventually these two studios will essentially merge into one not legally, but from a movie standpoint, storytelling point of view, because they are going to be cranking out a lot of movies over the next couple of years. Morbius, The Living Vampire, essentially. We don't know what the actual full title is yet. Venom 2 is going into shooting next month in London. Obviously, London is my city. So guys, if anyone knows anyone on the casting crew, please get me a cameo. That would be insane. Then there's obviously going to be some kind of Venom Carnage Spider-Man movie in the future. We do know part of the new contract is that Sony can literally pull them into any, any free single movie they're doing. Into Spider-Verse 2, there was the, the supposed Gwen Stacy scene in Endgame, you know, when they come back from the blip. Careful for spoilers if you haven't watched it. And, you know, there was someone that looks like Gwen Stacy, was kind of dressed exactly like Gwen Stacy. There's supposed to be a spin-off movie, an all-female spin-off. There's supposed to be a Black Sable. There's supposed to be so many movies coming from Sony. And do you really think that Marvel don't want a piece of that money? Now, essentially, the big issue with the deal was it was all to do with money, really, and that was it. And it turns out that Tom Holland actually had multiple meetings with both Sony CEO Tom Rothman and Disney CEO Bob Iger. And that is absolutely insane when you factor in Bob Iger 
is the head of Disney. Like, just, just digest how big that is. So, the rumored slate is Morbius, Venom 2, Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man 4. I mean, I, I do believe Spider-Man 4 is essentially going to be Venom Carnage versus Spider-Man or something like that. All-female spider verse spin-off. Craven the Hunter, who's rumoredly going to be the villain for Spider-Man 3. It's not the kind of fake leak Scorpio that's going around. Do you really think Chameleon's going to be the villain for Spider-Man 3? That is hilarious. And it's not coming from a very good source. So, yeah. And the problem is, guys, is sources, right? If a story is true, every single website runs a story, not just certain websites. So if you ever want to know if a story is true, look at every website. Are they running the same story? Madam Web, they've just confirmed that. Sinister 6 was supposed to be T. So we could still be building up to Sinister 6 inside the you know, MCU. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens going forward. But there is a lot of untruthful stuff out there, which it's kind of interesting. So Tyrese is actually in Morbius, but no one knows who he's playing. So regardless to whether Morbius does well, it appears that Tyrese has three other movies, including the MCU in his contract. So it's fair to say that Morbius and Venom 2 take place inside the MCU Sony-verse, confirmed by an actor. Now, this is allegedly rumoredly coming from someone inside a Sony movie. It's like Bodyverse. It's really hard to define what to call this universe because they've not defined it yet. So this isn't coming from a website. This is coming from a Hollywood actor who is more reliable in theory than any website. It's not coming from a source of a source of a source. This is coming from what he said about his contract. I'm not really sure if he's allowed to say this. But then again, I'm a bit skeptical about are they saying this just to build up hype that Morbius might have some connection to do with Spider-Man. And as we know now that reshoots are going on and the new contract does allow Tom Holland Spider-Man or Peter Parker, well, both of them really, to appear inside any Sony movie. In theory, Spider-Man could appear in the Morbius movie in a post credit scene or Peter Parker could be walking through somewhere. Um, so it is interesting. We do know that they are they, they are using London for Venom 2, maybe, which is going to be interesting. Well, not maybe. That is 100% happening. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I personally think that they should just merge two because if the MCU and the Sony-verse is separate, there's just going to be this debacle of where is it, isn't it? I know you could say the multiverse and then something could happen. Spider-Man could be pulled through to the Sony-verse and then when he comes back for Secret Wars, Avengers 5 or the Age of Galactus, then he could come back to the other universe. But they might as well just merge the universes. But contractually and legally, they are never going to merge Sony Pictures and Disney together. That would never happen. But it benefits both companies. It benefits Sony from a financial point of view to make more money in the movies. And it benefits Disney to make more money from merchandise sales because Spider-Man merchandise sales is worth at least one billion, which is nearly more than the entirety of Far From Home made. So it is interesting. You've got to be a bit skeptical about this information. But Comic Kings said it. So Morbius could appear in a future MCU movie. Now, this is very weird because no one else has this information. So that is why I'm taking this as the truth because it's coming from a Hollywood actor. He's obviously friends with this person who's kind of dropped this information online. And this is the kind of stories that I love to cover because it's not coming from some website or some source. It's literally coming from someone who is fairly famous in America. Now, I've looked him up briefly. He's American radio presenter, television personality, and author. He is the co-host of the nationally synced radio station, The Breakfast Club, with DJ Envy. Envy um, and co-stars Guy Code, Guy Court, and Guy Girl. So he seems to be a pretty credible guy which is interesting, and he also spoke about this in the six stuff, which I know unofficially I cannot go and source who told me, but I know that information is true. So I do believe this is true. I do believe that somehow the Morbius Venom 2 in Spider-Verse will merge with the MCU, and it's all right if people don't like that, but if you want Tom Holland to keep playing Spider-Man because he wants to keep playing Spider-Man forever, then they've just got to come to some arrangement that, yeah, the Spider-Verse and the MCU are literally the same thing. We know from the new contract that they can reference things that happen inside the MCU briefly inside like Venom 2 and stuff. So we know that it's going to have to happen at some point. And we know that literally Spider-Man could appear in Venom 2 if that's what Sony wants. Because at the end of the day, Sony owns the characters. Marvel might own, like I guess, the validity to the character, but not in movie rights. And obviously Spider-Man TV show is going to be made via Sony you know, and Sony PlayStation, Sony PS4, 
You know, like it all links back to Sony. So it just works better if they merge the universe or have two universes that can intertwine and eventually Venom will appear in Secret Wars. You know it's happening, guys. You know it's happening. So like always, guys, let me know everything you think down below. If you think this is absolute rubbish, tell me down below and we'll have a grown-up conversation. So like always, please like, subscribe and comment, guys. And I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.